Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks and praise. Greetings, free people across the earth. Greetings. Yeah, I'm like touch upon the United Kingdom and colonies, you know. And have that issue there. And this is how we kind of edify ourselves. If we not have no information, then we will remain ignorant of the truth. Righteousness, you know. There is always some form of destruction where we manifest itself, you know. And as such, we have to stay vigilant at these hazards. Yeah, man. I share this information in an effort, you know. To bring honorable clarification for our people. Yeah, because it applies to us. When we say us, we talk about we. We consider ourselves West Indians. Yeah. The kind of Awakan people where. Spanish colonizers and the British colonizers and the Portuguese colonizers and the French colonizers and the Italian colonizers and all these foreign people from that northeastern hemispheric area. Yeah. People would then say, ignore the past. Tell us, forget about the past when the very past and its activities is what, is, is what set up these foreign people within their construct. So when they are established, they say, forget about the genocide or the atrocities that our people perpetuate against your people. It is us. And then we have a lot of our very own people. Our people will look like us. Because of their state of condition or the vacation of a particular kind of knowledge or information, then they won't apply themselves in an effort to stand as free man and woman of this earth. They're always trying to attach themselves politically to some foreign construct. Yeah, I will never find them creating their own autonomously. Whatever is created for them, they'll claim as their own. But again, it's always like the political system, all that civil rights, all, all of those, you know, fictional rights that was created by foreign force, granting it to the people as privileges. Those are what most of the people are more cling to. And that again is because of the vacation of certain specific kind of information. Yeah, because the void knowledge and Even I am no exception. If I do not have the information necessary, then I'm a fool. 
to what is only because I do not have the information. I just don't know. So this document that says the United Kingdom and Colonies. Then it's a British Commonwealth Colonial Plantation. And we have the United States of America. Then we have Charter of New England 1620. I'm share the document. Let me put it in the description. Later said James, by the grace of God. King of England, Scotland, France, and Ireland, defender of the faith, etc. To all whom these presents shall come, greetings. Whereas upon the humble petition of divers of our well disposed subjects that intended to make several plantations in the parts of America, here is a King James and his consort, Volition. Their intention is to make several plantations in the parts of America between the degree of 34 and 45. So when you look at the map, you still say they might talk about the Western Hemisphere. Uh, these guys are come from someplace else. We call it not Eastern Hemispheric area. And I share the website where the ones that can go read information and this is their creation this is how them start them thing here on the mainland and this is a 1620 document this is before 1655 when the british came around here on the island so this is on the mainland and in this very document right here you hear King James and his consort, these foreign people, they know this area is called America. So when them come with their, the United States of America, that's the agency. That's the governing agency. And it filtered down to the United States Incorporated. And when this agency was structured and created, they were in Philadelphia. And then they become a corporation and moved to Washington, D.C., right there in Maryland and Virginia. Yeah, man. So, them thing here, a verification for now, sir. We have been invaded, people. Yeah, man. So, for most of the people on the mainland where listen to us and when them hear we talk some of them might get in you know them feelings you understand this is why i say on a free on ourselves but on a know where an enslavement is and who is truly enslaving y'all and if there is any such a thing uh therefore you have to salute my son with a American national according to his status, not a United States citizen. Yeah, and just that simple act make me a proud man. Make me an extremely proud man. I wouldn't want you to be a CEO for now Fortune 500 company without knowing who and what you are and where you are. And from whence you came. So salute to my American national. Yeah. Offspring. Yeah. And my daughter is the very same thing. Salute. All right. Now I'm going to prepare for my next smaller daughter. So our documentation is in line. Just like all my day I said, man. National here, but I don't like the Jamaica anymore, so I just like how I extricate myself from this Jamaica corporate status. Yeah, I have to upgrade my thing and just come up as an American national in my land. You know, have them kind of knowledge, yeah. 
to, you know, allow yourself to be oppressed by some unlearned crown agents. Yeah, do it. Yeah, man. Truth will manifest itself naturally within this earth. Yeah. I hear a police officer on one of them YouTube thing. I said, oh, people disrespect the police and, you know, we need to respect the police. But when I listen to the officer, I can understand his sentiment. But even when I say that officer, that policeman, I know most people wouldn't disrespect that man because he seems like a respectable man. And that is where most people are miss. We now go have no respect for a person or a persona or even a costume. We will always have to respect the inherent dignity of all men. And when we say man, we mean man, woman, and child. We have to respect that inherent dignity. So you can't come and say because you're not in a police uniform, we now respect you. No, you're either a man or you're not. And when you're not a man, then you're a thing. You understand? That's the distinction. So nobody now go respect my person, not a person, no. We have to always respect the inherent dignity of all men. Irrespective of what is your persuasion, as twisted as you might choose to be, we still have to respect that inherent dignity of that man. You know, that's clarity. You now, God just know, say, how some people are out of order, unlearned, inconsiderate, corrupt, criminal by nature. And because they have on a police costume, they don't say, I show respect. Under what circumstance? No. By our actions or or inactions by our commission or or omission this is how all man shall be judged you can't look on everybody and say them good especially when it's not demonstrable and now step demonstrate good you can't look at everybody and say them bad when they now demonstrate nothing bad This is where we have to start, you know, think for ourselves. This is why ones can unite, but ones not to mix and mingle in order to, you know, find common ground. Because a man like me would have no interest in mingling with a lot of people where I try to talk about unity. Uh, that is why we not get no way. And if that should be the answer, then, you know, people that come together a long time. If a man have a right to decide his own destiny, yeah, man, and you never going to get there without truth. And if you don't know truth, then you make a search and find it. It's like on the island here, we have what is known as constitutional laws of Jamaica, which is the supreme law of the land. Yet, most Jamaican so-called people have no clue what it is now. They're aware, but they have never read it. And the misconception is that the whole entire document is now, listen, it's an agency, and them have bylaws, which is called the Constitution, which govern the agency's activity. And them have to have a Bill of Rights as provisions, which is secure and guaranteed, not granted by absolutely no Constitution. And that is the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom as amended 2011 for this island nation here. That is the supreme law of the land. That is where the contract is, where it said no organ of the state shall make no act to abrogate, abridge, or infringe upon the people's fundamental human rights and freedom. The very document said, boy, at its inception, get go, it'll tell the agents they should observe the 
principles of human rights. But for some reason, the common people I get this information because the agents and their agencies don't find interest in educating the people about law, about lawful act, and about lawful conduct. This Crown Agency and its agents who are mostly unlearned are only interested in profit and gain, enriching themselves. That's the truth. And the facts is laid out here as evidence. The people now suffer because of the you know, lack of the true knowledge of law. Legal standard use alternatively as you rules or regulations are only agencies by laws. It's not the constitution, it's not the supreme law of the land, not admiralty or statutory commercial. That are about, you know, common law alone, simple. If there is a crime, present the victim. We cannot have a crime without a victim. They cannot impose colorful law. To the detriment of the people when they ignore public law, or at least the supreme law of the land, constitutional law. These are the distinctions the people will miss easily. But there's too much distraction, too much entertain or speak. No entertain. But we are no maroons here. And whoever claim to be maroons know the benefits of their claim. Just like the people who claim to be more and more rich. They know the benefits or the privileges of their claim. Most of these agents are getting paid. But they are all agents of the state. All of who are claiming to be maroon now check the history. This is why I may not accept no kind of foreign label when we can, you know, present ourselves. Nestorian King, our Indian nation, House of Dallas. We don't need foreigners to place no label on us. And check the etymology. A maroon is only an escape Spaniard. An escape Spaniard is called a maroon. We here in the West Indians are mislabeled as such in order to usurp our place through unlawful treaties with foreign enemies. Where those treaties only benefit the foreign enemy. So we reject the notion of any maroons on this island. Yeah. This is why we can exist harmonious with everyone. We are not for mingle and mingle. Uh, we are not the same. We might look the same. But we are not. So this document for the New England Charter of 1620 establishes the wish for English colonization of all land. Hear that? Hear that mainland people? All land these foreigners come for colonize. Between degree 34 and 44, creating a colonial plantation within the northwestern hemispheric area of America to found settlements and commerce for northeastern hemispheric foreign peoples and establish trade and commerce between those new colonies and the colonies of George Somers and Thomas Gates, the Virginia colony. These new colonies were to be managed by gentry from Plymouth, Exeter, 
and Bristol is over in England now. These members of the council were to have in perpetuity for them and their descendants rights and privileges extended for the governance and management of trade of the colony. The council card, this is what I meant for. When you read the document, you see how them come over England and create a council and first council in England. And them second council is what they call New England. Understand? This is on the mainland now. This is when they go up in a upstate New York area and go up in a Albany and then far place that spread out themselves. You know what I mean? New Hampshire, you know, Boston, them place that. The council for the New England was a 17th century English joint stock company that James I gave a royal charter or a royal contract to extend his realm over parts of North America by establishing colonial settlements. So, I don't know what a North American Indian our aborigines round there. You know? I don't have this information. I don't know. Look like them don't have this information for no set. Some foreign people come around there and structure themselves that way. I will now give away America to no foreign people. Said so no, them create an agency called the United States of America. That's that big parent corporation they create here. And from that corporation and create a United States incorporated and a federal jurisdiction within that, which is Washington, D.C., Washington, District of Columbia. So the Master of the Council was established in November of 1620. 1620, that before them come in a 1655 on the island. So they established themselves on the mainland in 1620 and was disbanded as though with no apparent changes in land titles in 1635. It provided for the establishment of the Plymouth, Plymouth Colony, the province of New Hampshire, the Massachusetts Bay Colony, the New Haven Colony, and the province of Maine. Sir Ferdinand, Ferdinand George was a major promoter of English colonization of New England and was a key figure in, es in establishment and operations of the council. So we just uh, you know, share information where we share and where is out there. Some of the persons involved had previously received a charter in 1606 as the and had found the short-lived Pofam, Pofam colony within the territory of Northern Virginia, actually in present-day Maine in the United States. The company had fallen into disuse following the abandonment of the 1607 colony. The council was re-established after with support from George, one Captain John Smith, and complete. Captain John Smith had completed a thorough survey of the Atlantic side of New England and named it such Atlantic New England. Second Richard Vines overwintered in 1616 off the main coast and discovered that a plague was this decimating Native American and three, a friendly English-speaking local Native American had been placed in the most likely colonization spot. So then they are just narrative, you know. In the new 1620 charter granted, given by James I, the company was given rights of settlement in the area, now designated as New England, which was the land previously part of the Virginia colony north of the 40th parallel and extending to the 48th parallel. So this is no different from what I want to say. 
the apartheid regime state. Israel is doing over there with the Palestinians, then you know, for them practice. This is why we say we can't support Israel because Israel was the one where you know, sir, a finance the apartheid, the apartheid regime in South Africa from President Bolton and board from the boards them round. Yeah. Israel was the main contributor in arms, weaponry, all kind of aid to the apartheid regime that enslaved the South African people for decades. And Israel has always been supported by the Anglo-American so-called, yeah, yeah, by the foreign invaders that invade America and create their foreign council and their foreign congress. So this foreign congress here in America support earthquake as we speak, as may I speak, the earth as we see the judgment, judgment as we speak. Them show they are shake the earth. Earthquake, look on the house a shake, and it's still a shake right now. Still a shake. And them show they are not earth. Earthquake, literally. Check the time and check the tape. Literally, earthquake for them show they are. Yeah, man. For them show they are. Beautiful. Yeah, man. So when the matter about the Atlantic side of New England, this is when, you know, them decimate the, 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 the people who look like me that was the original native of America. What them are called black people. We don't accept them term. Then. We say we are Awak Indian, West Indian, non-African, separate and distinct. Yeah, set apart people. This is why we bring our information this way. This is why we carry and conduct ourselves this way. And this is why we make certain claim that is not outlandish. Because if we say, my son is American national, it's true him not public like me. We present him documents and say, and I just talk. It is. Understand? Yeah, man, earthquake in this earth, man. Judgment. Yeah, from the very words what we speak. Yeah. So this document is uh, in the new 1620 charter granted by James. Yeah, and all right. Where it has uh, given rights of settlement in the area now designated as New England, which was the land previously part of Virginia Colony, not of the 40th parallel and extended to the 40th parallel. In 1622, the Plymouth Council issued a land grant to John Mason, which ultimately evolved into the province of New Hampshire. So for the people upon the mainland, when on a year old man like I speak, we're not adverse to the island. We are not your, you guys' enemy. You understand? We are not. We just tell us a boy on our foreigners were invaded in a location and not excuse those foreigners and a large attack at the true liberators, the true warriors, the true American Indians who are our works. First people, first nation, not Taino, which is a Spanish designation. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. This is why we are not popular. This is why mainstream media will not, will never bring this kind of information on their platform, in their arena. Yeah, because this truth destroy empires, totally obliterate the dark forces, the demonic 
structures are set up out there. Yeah, man, earthquake. Earthquake. Yeah, man, and later on, I get lightning and thunder. Yeah, God, them a launch them demonic attack, you know. And we just brace and we pull it off and hear it, yeah. We we'll send it out there, I'll hurt ourselves. Weak. The judgment we're going to manifest in our full life. Remember, we always say it's our clean hands and our pure heart. Always. Our clean hands and our pure heart. And that's all we need. That's all we need. Yeah, God, that bring we our salvation. Clean hands, pure heart. Again, give thanks, people. The brave may fall, but never yield. And we said, bold and brave, firm and strong. Salute, my American national. Yeah, salute to a commonwealth warriors. Salute to a West Indian people. Salute a walk in their nation in America. Bull and brave, firm and strong. Salute out there.